Jeff, how's it going? Hey, Danny. Hey, let me see here. Uh, I really only have one thing for today. Uh, I'll just share real quick and then see. Uh, I was going to try to email these guys like yesterday, short notice, but um, do you see this thing I forwarded on here? Uh, uh, no. This is, I, I sent an email. It was, uh, I think it was Scott from Google and maybe somebody else. Um, I should have just forwarded it to you from my Intel email. Um, Scott Sharp, Mark Dancy from OCP, which I don't see his name on here, but uh, let me give me a sec. I'll pop this up too. I think we need to sync with these guys. So I sent this on to you like a week or two ago, probably when you're on vacation. So it's probably part of some big stack you haven't got to yet. Right. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure if, if Truth there who pointed them on or they found it. I did see, I asked them to sign up. One of them signed up for our work group. Uh, I was kind of hoping uh, he might pop in yesterday or today. Um, but but um, actually, I probably should just like, um, I probably should just re respond to him right yeah, now. Yeah, well, could, could you forward that to me again? Because, I mean, I... Let me, let me get it to the top of your email here. Yeah, no worries. Jeff, author, HPE. Okay, just sent it. And... Uh, okay. Okay. I haven't gotten it yet, but Okay. Let me I'm just looking here. Okay, and then let me do this. I'm gonna like just send these guys. Oh, oh okay, yeah, I got it. I just got it. All right. And I'm going to do this. This the, okay, so is this, all right, so the sustainability power time. So we talked to, yeah, any of these guys uh, familiar? I was on there, I was on the sustainability telemetry, I think, uh, but they, because they were doing another profile. And so like, yeah, there's a, there's overlap here, folks. So, yeah. Um, but that but they were oh, also sorry. it wasn't telemetry, it was the it was the data center efficiency metrics group. And that was Sammy's thing, which yeah, which I think we kind of feed into them. But this one, telemetry APIs, which I thought was cool because like, okay, good, we need some APIs eventually to get to the software layer. Yeah, so okay, I, I guess I didn't yeah, it looks like they're barely getting to anything. I'm okay. I clicked on the wrong link. Uh, let's see. Get back here. <laughs> so much stuff here. Let me see. That's the group. Yeah, we're, I mean, it looks like they're very digital too. Uh, where are these uh, guidelines from your white paper currently draft here? Okay, so I found the. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, well, I guess I'll read this, but the, so, I mean, um, yeah, so I, I certainly need to talk, to, okay, we need to talk to them, because yeah. I've already, uh, is this a, okay, I, I hate when the specs include half of the template pieces and not spec, but that's it's like, <laughs> Yeah, well, it's like a white paper, right? So I'm gonna right, right. Uh, I'm okay. gonna send this to them and invite them to come. I already just did copy you. Yeah. Stuff. So I mean, yeah. So I mean, but the so I'm 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 reading this and it's like, well, uh, okay. 
to to me they're they're saying telemetry, but it's it it they're they're kind of it's looking at a law. Te telemetry is a, a a loaded term, um, but I mean I see what what they're talking exactly. about is I mean it's really is uh, it, it's it's the portion of management, but it's 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 it is just data acquisition. So uh, yeah, but. It but the API thing is interesting. So I don't know if this is like right. So I'm like, is I don't. I, I, it looks like they're just laying out requirements for a, I or, or what what it needs to provide. I don't see a. That's what I'm wondering. Like, like I mean, there's, there's there's no there's no specification here for a an API. It's they're setting out requirements, which is fine, uh, and good because I like I because I think we have an answer for all this, and it's like I already. We already we already have all the all of the resources defined, you know, uh, via Redfish for for all the power and the liquid cooling stuff and all the inventory. So it's like I think we just need to go through the checklist. Um, right, but I think, but the but if the question is like, I'm wondering if the API is from like all the way out to like the you know the the user, especially like a virtual machine user. That was one of my key questions too, right? Because that's kind of one of our end goals and it's like okay are you going to specify what apis or even like create some kind of template for an api for doing that kind of stuff that would be like is that their long-term vision they're mentioning like you know building management systems and tenants and so forth so but um, yeah i was looking i was I like it's really nothing but, you know i mean that's this is all okay it's all motherhood and apple pie uh da -da -da -da. yeah i was bouncing back Special tracking data hall and uh, Okay, so the telemetry must have. I mean, but this is this is yeah, this is just saying this is the data we want to have available, uh, and the and the use cases. Uh, okay, physical access control. Are they talking about access to the API? I mean, something. Okay. Uh, okay, that's okay. Uh, all right. I, I'm trying to figure when they mean physical access. Are they talking about managing of physical access, as in like you know door I security, think... or are they talking about the this the 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 tenant the operator tenant models? And I think I think it's the latter, or like you like you know the Redfish covers it in our case, and so yeah. then and it's like. Okay. In a landlord owned data center, the communication time involving uh, okay, I, I think that's. Okay. Yeah, oh, I, it's really physical. Then, yeah. Yeah. So we, yeah, we really need to, to talk with these yeah. guys. Yeah. So we'll. Uh, so I, I, I sent the. Oh, email. I, I don't. I guess I'm like I'm not seeing anything in conflict, but it's like, hey, let's yeah. let's see if we can help. You know, bring them to conclusion because I think that what what, yeah, this white paper is looks like it's really laying out requirements for for the data, and that's mm -hmm. good. So it's like, all right. So like, I, let's. I think we can help them move into solution space of. We have this available. Uh, the you know the models are available. You could write a profile to explain this, and then let's see where. Um, let, let's you know because because for OCP like we have an answer you know for uh, for for this kind of data and you know and, and, until proven you know insufficient that's right. You want to continue down that path. Right. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. So that that was that. I think was just somebody to fold in, like you said. Maybe for later we complement it. Yeah, uh, uh, and so the other thing was the conversation with the data center efficiency metric or what I, I can't I, I keep forgetting the the acronym for their for the is it the it's not PUE it's the replacement it's the they have another acronym but you know what I mean oh uh, no it is it, they meet tomorrow at early in the morning right I mean yeah see, <laughs> see yeah so. Um, but looking at what they're asking for, um, and they were they were going to start on a profile for that, and I'm like, okay, that's good. But we've already got a sustainability profile, uh, you know, as a draft out there. Um, you saying these guys? Is this the right group? Or uh, is there uh, uh, yes, those guys. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I think Sammy from Intel is running this now. Yeah. So I, okay, yes, so. he has a, so there's a use case document. From that group that explains the the new the the yeah these efficiency metrics, okay, uh, and I think that's all good. 
the data that they need. And so, you know, so my 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 talk with them was okay. I don't I don't think, uh, and I'll say you know I I don't think politically from OCP I don't think we want multiple sustainability profiles. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I because I, I think we're, we're going to be lucky if people pay attention to one of them. Exactly. I so agree. my tact would be with with the community would be. Uh, let's create one profile. Um, the requirements for this for the profile to you know to be able to, for you to be able to get your check mark, I think today would be: Do I have enough to measure PUE? Uh, and then and then you know and the other things we've already talked about you know the physical locations and so forth uh, for for doing you know both carbon accounting and for use phase uh, power power and energy. Um, and those, I think, are are the requirements. What what these guys are asking for in their new data center efficiency metric is some of the you know they want to they want to pull out the additional pieces of data to calculate that efficiency by showing the uh, you know effectively the fan power and the converter losses and so forth. And that's okay. all good. Uh, yep. So, uh, but the the difference is going to be. Um, you know, footnote one, I'm going to say no one, uh, no one exposes or has the hardware for reporting fan power or fan subsystem power and DC DC converter law, you know, losses. They don't have that instrumentation today. Now I'm saying caveat, you know, there's probably somebody that does it, but in general, if I go pick 10 random servers, uh, uh -huh. you know, nine out of 10 of those ain't going to have it. Uh, ain't, ain't, and so, have what you're saying. The, the oh the fan power it's just fan, fan speed power, right yeah I mean they'll have total power though so but but you know so the the so the deal is if we put things like must yeah. report fan power as a requirement in the profile then basically uh -huh. nobody's going to pass the profile today True. so that would be and I think that's bad uh we, we we need to get them on the path and I you know this is one of those you know right. like, uh yeah you passed so I'm like let's call this version one of the profile where we have the requirement, the required things, the mandatory requirements are uh, report power, report energy, report physical location, uh, you know, and product inventory for 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 carbon, you know, use and embodied. Uh, done. Uh, uh -huh. Meanwhile, in that profile, there will be recommended uh, requirements uh, for. You know, fan fan power, uh, converting fan speed to fan power, kind of. Thing. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, so we can put those all as as recommendations, uh, and then and then write in the notes to say, you know, you know, this is all the stuff that is that is necessary to uh, to be able to report the new power uh, the data center efficiency metric. Uh, so today it is recommended. Uh, in the next version of this profile, you can expect these things to become requirements. Uh, and so what we'll set up then is a cadence of uh, uh, yeah. you know, Mr. Mr. Vendor gets a check mark to say, I meet the OCP uh, uh, sustainability profile version one. And then we come out with version two sometime later that moves those things to required. Uh, and that'll go, ooh, I, I, I need to get ready for that. So we can set the direction yeah. and expectations and then say, look, there's going to be a version two. And so, you know, your customers will move from a, do you support the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the sustainability profile to, to a move of, do you support version two of the sustainability profile? Yes or no. So do, do you have that? Is, where's their link for that, that you're saying is that, can I find that here somewhere or? Uh, you should be able to. I don't. Yeah, I, they showed it during the meeting. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's posted it or not. Let me see. Uh, I'll click click on the wiki. See if it goes from there. Oh, oh, on the right there. There. Oh, this wiki. Yeah, hey, yeah, that wiki. Uh, let's see if there's a body carbon carbon modeling. Is it under the documents? Um, metrics and see. Yeah, the metrics guys. Life cycles metrics. Oh, uh, this one, August twenty. That's so. Oh, that's ancient history. But well, Ooh. click click on one of those and see if there's a link in there to a document. Click on oh. that metrics that latest one there. Let's see if there's a this guy. See if there's a link there to the. Oh, this oh, is like oh, God, no. video. That's, will now be That's meetings. Oh, LCA recordings. Workshop recordings. 
I thought that was, I read that as minutes. No. Uh, OCP, oh, here we go, documents. This is the old, old, old. I remember all this stuff is from a while ago. Uh, let's see if I get, okay, data center efficiency metrics. I can just ping Sammy. I can do that. Okay, this, oh, oh, got it, got it. Is that it? Oh, that's direct air capture. Okay, that's, that's not, okay, that's not it. I've got a bunch of notes for their meetings, but I'm not seeing any. Yeah, I'm kind of, I, so I sent him yeah, I, I, to Sammy. Let's see if he has anything. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we're on, we're on Zoom. You can't just go add him to the call. <laughs> yeah. He, I, yeah, well, yeah, hoping we send a link. But... Well, and Shruti's in that group, too. Um, okay, well, there's their, let's see. Let's say, can you, can you pop that? I'm trying to like, get it again. Can you pop that, that team, that, that, that groups a link into the chat so I That's can good. look quickly. Yeah, let's see here. Thanks. I'm trying to look if there's. And then here, I can never seem to find anything from this main page. I, I, you know, I, I don't have a recommendation for like what tools should we be using that are better, but but it's like, man, yeah. it's, I, I, I hate that that there just does not seem to be a good work collaboration workspace. You know, all these tools kind of just exactly like Git and SharePoint and Wiki, yeah. and white I, paper. Well, and of course, the problem is that everybody, everybody that's making any of these tools, you know, wants to make it all, all or none for them. So it's like, well, you know, I, I'm using this for my document sharing. Well, no, you can't do that then, because yeah, okay. Uh, our so, so so far as I so I agree with you on the fan power, and you said just off the top of your head, the other one was the uh, it or was, DC loss kind of thing, right? The power conversion. And, well, this is one of those things that was surprising to me, and I have not. You know, I, I've not verified this myself, but I'll take I'll take Eric to his to his word that yeah that, you know, that for the you know for the modern systems you know we we got power supply efficiency was is kind of a solved issue or you know is is meaning it's you know it's it's ninety five percent and uh, and that's kind of across the board uh you know for everything except for maybe really bizarre loads um and so you know there there's not a lot more to be gained there uh but the but there was a, a, a another um, source of inefficiency, uh, and that is the the DC DC converters uh, taking the power supply outputs and then taking them down to the you know to the processor and memory voltages, um, and that that there's there are inefficiencies there that have not been surfaced, and that in his words that you know for a modern system, it's, I mean I assume he means with you know, big, big fat processors and even fatter GPUs um, that, you know, using very low voltage rails, you know, that are converters, that are being converted, um, that the total losses in terms of wattage, or in, ter you know, in terms of watts or watts hours, uh, from the losses in those conversions are on the same orders of magnitude as the fan power for the system. And it's like, wow, that really sounds awful. And yeah, then, I, I think I about it. Like, wow. it yeah, well, it I, I, yeah, I mean, it, it see, it's that 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 seemed like an outrageous statement to me. Um, but then you think about the well, uh, you know, the, the the these processors are, you know, especially the GPUs. I mean, we're talking about stuff in the, you know, in the kilowatt range yeah. for a server of <laughs> right. Insane. And so, yeah, gee, if I'm taking and and all that kilowatt has to be run through a DC converter, well, 
you know, if that's only 90% efficient, which I don't know if that's a terrible 95% thing. of, yeah, five yeah that, well, that could still be 50 or 100 watts. And it's like, well, how many, you know, how many fans are you running for 100 watts? So, yeah, I guess we, you know, we're not talking about, you know, a half a watt here and there. That, uh, you know, it's just, yeah. this is like congressional monies, right? You know, billion here, billion there. Eventually you, you end up with real money, right? So, <laughs> yeah. What? So, yeah. So, let me think. So, I agree. And I, and I kind of get them. That like, hey, we can't like ignore this. Um, yeah. So I, so PSU is pretty straightforward because that'll report it out, right? Yeah. But the big one is, do you, do you have, um, you, you have say solution? <laughs> is, is there yeah. anything on Redfish for like? Do you know now everybody does these like forty? Well, correct. I, the talk is people move to forty-eight volt rails. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, a PDB and a hot swap controller, blah blah. blah. And I'm like, okay, uh, how do we, is there any way to get input output there? Yes. Well, yes. There is. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. So we actually, we rendered, so, and, you know, and this was one of those you know, long, long, long time ago, there was like, uh, there were like, you know, VRM reporting, uh, you know, this is like in the IPMI days and uh, that, you know, that was like um, useless uh, to put it mildly or bluntly. Uh, the, so there were people that that instrumented that, and all they were doing was wasting money because you know it's like, oh well, the you know what, what are you trying to detect? And I'm like, I'm trying to detect a VRM failure. Like, uh, pretty much that you know the system doesn't boot. That you know there, there's your failure, and your recourse is replace system board. So you spending dollars to uh, to to go add voltage uh, you know voltage monitors onto the VR the VRMs was was a waste of money. So you know, and then that stuff got integrated in the motherboard, and all I got reduced. And then it's like, so you know uh, there were like uh, our, our servers, for instance, we never uh, instrumented that stuff uh, because, again, if it's integrated on the motherboard, it was, uh, you know, the the failure was the system doesn't work, and the the only recourse is replace replace system board. So, uh, you know, so so that stuff kind of went away, um, and then you know, and then now we're like now we're back to the like oh these things are big and now they're modules and so on and so forth. So so yeah, so what we did in Redfish was when we when we created the power supply model. Uh, so now there is a power supply type of of uh, and I can't remember if it's called voltage regulator or just regulator, um, but you you can effectively render you know a power supply module uh, that's a, as a voltage regulator, uh, and so that then gives you the input and output you know power and voltage and current and so forth. So so yes, yeah, you can get okay, it. So so basically, you sort of like. Um... Uh, you know, whatever model slash report it as a VR type model. Yep. Or structure, however you want to say it. And then, and basically it's, they have to, but how do they, I guess this is in the PDB design must, must. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. You still, yeah. Uh, all I did was give you the place to report it. You still got to go right. do all the work to go, get, to go add that instrumentation to the VRs. And, and yeah. And I don't know if those, I don't know how that works today is that, you know, or do they have a controller and reporting things like via PM bus? I would, that would be my assumption or at least the. Yeah, somewhere uh, they've got to just do all the. Somewhere it's done, training. but I don't know. I I, I do not know. Um, okay. And so that's, that's part of that back to the, uh, you know, I mean, Eric's statement was just, you know, like, well, that this is a, that's a lab statement, you know, like I can go measure the stuff in a lab and so, and show that, ooh, these things are terrible in terms of efficiency, but no one cared uh, until now, because you know they 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 didn't they, you know they used to be small or you know small numbers and it was all in the round off. But now now you're talking about uh, you know kilowatts running through these things. Uh, the losses uh, are non-trivial. So uh, so I I don't yeah. know where we are on that. You know, are they asking for data that that is unobtainium today? I don't I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, that, that's, so that's a whole ecosystem that needs to be, you know, uh, to be investigated to see where are we on that, you know, on the learning curve of that. I, I, yeah, I, I, just, I don't know. I just captured that. I'm, I shut a note to like an internal guy to kind of see where he gives me a little yeah. bit of the industry rules. The, the, so how did, so PSUs, is it just that uh, PSUs report input power, output power to Redfish and then it does the math or yeah. how? Is that the way it works? Well, yeah, we and we try not to do math. Uh, so we, yeah, we try to just report enough that, like, if you want to do math, go. You know, you're a client with, you know, with gigahertz of of performance. So, so please don't let the, you know, please please don't make the portal of BMCs 
the BMC, right? But yeah, but the basically the PM solution does require the BMC. Yeah. Do input output map. Yep. Delta. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Input output power map. Well, the, yeah, it's just it's just reading that the power the power supply is in the PM bus spec, and that's all part of the OCP uh, power supply definitions or okay. Specs. okay. So and you know and and that was an easy one because the industry was already there. Yeah, um, you're just like okay, and it's just one one chunk of math, so it's not the other. Yeah. Well, it's not at, at that point. It's not even math. You're just pulling the values out from the that are reported by the power supply over PM bus, and then just you know reflecting that in the into the the, the JSON payload. So it's not. Yeah. You know, oh, okay. So the payload has output and input, and then basically the yeah, user. Yeah. Has oh yeah, yeah. We're not. Yeah, we're not creating that. That's the, the uh, measurements come from the power supply, so they have. Uh, you know, input power and, you know, voltage and current, and then they have output power. Uh, I mean, it depend, it'll depend on the supply, but I think the platinum stuff all requires you to have, uh, you know, uh, uh, both so, so that you can, you know, so you can see those efficiencies. Um, the other, uh, the other thing may be for supplies that have multiple outputs, which most, you know, server supplies have a, you know, a three, five and 12 or whatever it is these days. Uh, so they will have individual uh, rail voltage outputs or rail current. So we have that stuff too. So you can, you know, you might you might have to sum summarize all of that to say, okay, I've got to take three three rails and sum that up to produce output. And that's something that Redfish would would you know would would do. But you know, we're not going to give you the the losses uh, because like that that's you know that's that's arithmetic that somebody you know may may do differently, right? So. Um, but but yeah, so things like total, like we know everybody wants total, so we'll we'll do those. Yeah. It's a, okay. Um, it's a guideline I, more of the rule. Like, like, like look, you know, well, I'll give you two two of the three legs of the triangle because you know, and I'll give you the hopefully the popular legs, you know, and then yeah. the you know, you need the third one. Like, yeah, do do your own. You know, you can you can do the subtraction. I don't, don't please don't make the BMC uh, do subtract. You know, do do all these extra work and properties and yeah. payload size. For um, stuff that's for sure. once in a year, right? I mean, so. So I like this. So so it sounds like we're really um, so we have sort of uh things for uh, things for Rev two. Yep. It's uh the three things I captured, like you said, uh reporting fan power, not fan speed, and yep. then um uh basically something. Okay, actually, let's well the one we just discussed. Let's just say. 48 volt sort of like hot swap rail type solutions. Again, we want them to either do the input output power or the loss or you know whatever. Yep. So we'll, we'll bin that as like that's another biggie. And then the third one that Eric talked about. So VR stuff. So I guess I mean again this is Rev two, so we have to solve it today. But like in Rev one, should we say like? all vr 13 pluses report on or what's the easy like you said like we want it to pass yeah. but we want we want to capture what's mostly there anyway and i think maybe something like is it vr 13 a newer well i think yeah, oh, oh yeah is there are there names for that but well so i yeah. mean what i would what i would probably do in the profile today and and you said we you know, we can kick this can down the road but i would like to put in everything and just mark those requirements as recommended which is one of the constructs in the profile and and what it means is that when you do validation uh you know to see are you passing the profile it basically like well it's only recommended so if i don't have it i don't fail i i still pass the profile so it doesn't hurt but it will certainly give but, you a warning but, message like you know you're not pat you, you know you're not including all these recommended things so it it, it's, um, it would be okay. good for us to solve okay. as much of this as we can today even though it's not going to be required, but you know, but we can wave yeah. your finger at you to say, uh, hello. Um, so I think yeah. the way I would do that, the yeah. way I would do that today is that because we have we have a, a, a we have a power supply type, so there's like uh, and I have to go look at it, but we have the VRs is a separate type. So I would just put a requirement to say, hey, if you're a power supply type of like AC or DC or whatever the whatever they are, if you're if you're a real power supply, you've got to have the input yeah. outputs period you know mandatory if you know if you were reporting vrs then you know those are recommended and that's what i would do today yeah and then i'm going to put a note here you kind of remind me so for the 48 volt thing is this also like a dc 
what is it dcmhs or whatever what's, what's called? The, yeah the but that the but uh that, that those will still come out as a, it'll come out as a dc power supply type so uh let me see what it says here um but i don't uh, but if it's not really a power supply it's more like i, I think i kind of think about it as like a part of the board now right it's like it's like oh you need if, if you're not using a silver box and you're just shoving it into a, a rail but then you have a pdb and the voltage conversion then maybe this is part of the the dc mhs spec or whatever yeah yeah okay that would be a good sync point too okay okay um and it sounds like for version one too maybe it's yeah, i was just thinking if for version one there's any like low hanging food like a class of vrs or maybe like we say the cpu vrs or i'm trying to think or but i i, I don't have to say like we have such an easy bar for i want i i do want stuff to basically like you said pass so that they pay attention but man uh i mean i guess recommend it's fine people be like yeah we already do it and here's you gave us the pass so we'll just do it yeah, so the okay, so the, the verbiage we have in the spec now has power supply type and there are four values. It's AC, DC, AC or DC, or DC regulator. So um, and there's not a lot of additional yeah, uh, there there's no there's no normative language to 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 tell you what that means. So Okay. Um yeah, we may want to come up with some language language to add to the Redfish spec for you know what what constitutes a dc power supply versus a dc regulator right because uh, yeah i mean it's one of those like i i can you know i i, I yeah it, it's a duck right i i i can i can certainly tell you by looking at it um dc regulator yeah, we, we, versus uh, we, yeah exactly well so it's one of those like are you are you taking uh you know is this is, are, are you taking power from an external source or are you converting it you know from from one voltage to another uh, you know, internal, you know, uh, you know, not not connected to mains, so to speak. And I think that would be the easy distinction, but you know, figure out how to write that that properly. Yeah. Okay. I, I took. Cause, yeah, because if you're connecting to a fifty a forty eight volt bus bar, you know, and then you're you know, and then that's got a bunch of like that that we would still we would consider that a DC power supply, uh, be, because that that's at a system level, and then like you know, and that still means that you know you might be converting forty eight volts to three point three volts, and then there still may be a voltage regulator that takes that three three down to one point eight, uh, and 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 if it's doing it at like one hundred and fifty amps, uh, you know that's 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 the new thing that we want to we probably we need to get some instrumentation on. Okay, okay, I capture that. Um, okay, okay, these are good. Okay, so let me. It sounds like we've got a couple things. So we got kind of three. Four things we got to sync with this metrics team and give them a heads up. Uh, yep. I might. I I I ping Sammy. I mean, I'm gonna look at my if I can find my calendar here. I was gonna say I might even be able to go in tomorrow and kind of like. Yeah, because they, they meet on they meet on Fridays for this. Yeah, tomorrow morning. I think I can make it tomorrow. Okay. I'll try to make it tomorrow and just kind that's of at, ask. That's at 8 a.m. Pacific. Is that the, yeah, DSEM? Yep, yep, yep. Data center efficient. Yeah, okay. So, we yeah, we can, we, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try to get up. I'll get on that call tomorrow, too. Okay, yeah, I'll, I, I should be able to make it. I'll double check. And then if I get a link from him before, I'll send it. And then uh, it sounds like we've got a good bin list of recommended stuff to be mandatory in version 2, Rev 2. And then the wild card is see if these guys come in next week to talk about this API stuff. I mean, I think yeah. we just think I, I, it, it's just going to, it might just be a leveling session and nothing immediate, but probably yeah. still good. Well, yeah. I mean, look at that white paper. There's nothing offensive in there. It, it looks like, okay, no. I think you guys are defining it as requirements, which is good. And then, you know, like, let's, let's see if we can map this to a solution yep. space. All good. Perfect. Okay. I think we got our next steps. Very good. All right, Jeff. Thanks, All right. man. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Take care. Bye. Bye.